In 2011, the northern city of Kaduna was at the center of political bloodshed. Muhammadu Buhari lost that election to President Goodluck Jonathan, whose People's Democratic Party has been in power for 16 years. Today, people here are looking forward to a new government taking over. It will be a celebrated day. It's a, it's a highly celebrated day because even within my locality, they are planning to buy a big cow to slaughter it for everybody to inaugurate it and everybody will sit together to view the inauguration since we cannot be able to go anywhere. We have bought cows that we will slaughter as a way of praying for the success of the incoming president as he takes the oath of office and for young people to be employed as he promised and so we can get good health care centers. Buhari made defeating the Islamist insurgency by Boko Haram a cornerstone of his campaign. For many Nigerians, this is crucial for a better future. Whatever we are going to do, we have to secure Nigeria first. What is happening in the northeast, where hundreds of people are being killed, is not acceptable. Buhari must also deal with the fallout from a dive in global oil prices, which has hammered state revenues and forced currency devaluations. Some believe he can do it and are determined to witness his inauguration. Yesterday, I left my house to walk four days to the inauguration to fulfill my promise that if General Bahari is elected as president, I will go, not because I lack money to pay for transport, but solely to witness the occasion and show my support for him. This is my humble token of support for him. It will be a long journey for Mohammed and an even tougher one for Bihari as his new government is tasked with leading a country struggling with political and economic challenges. Clementine Logan, CCTV.